there have been a lot of negative reactions by people, you know, uh, recently around self-driving cars. For example, in some cities, people have purposely, uh, purposefully, or uh, for no reason, sabotaging these cars and stealing parts, you know, parts like copper or whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's 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 really really interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's very sad. Like I, sad, huh? Yeah, I mean, I see those cars as sort of the the some of the most advanced technology we have. Like we are trying to eliminate a class of work that is not fun, right? Like I think mm. a lot of work that people do is out of convenience, right? Is the the easiest thing for them to do. And I, I think driving is a good example of something that you know, 30 years from now, I I don't imagine it's a it's a job that people would want to do out of the out of the space of anything that's possible to do with their time to drive. Um, like I I think you know, elevator operator is a somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. and oh, oh, I see. Where so it once we have technology that does this automatically, the idea of having a person do it just seems so boring, right? Like I hate mm -hmm. driving. I hate it. <laughs> so I have a little device called a comma AI that is like a aftermarket self-driving add-on kit for my car. And okay. it makes driving so much more enjoyable because I don't have to focus on the hard part of yeah. driving. It gets so boring and tedious. Um, and so the idea of people doing research, people trying to build technology to you know advance the civilization forward, that those you know technological artifacts are destroyed. I, I don't know. It just seems sad. There's a, definitely an impedance mismatch between the people yeah. attacking them. Like I'm not sure what their message is, but I see it as very sad. The uh, software you're talking about that helps your car become self-driving. Yeah. Does that does that work for any car, or it has to be like not for any car? They they support a lot of cars. It's started by George Hotz. He's the guy who hacked the PlayStation back in the oh, day yeah. and the iPhone. Super smart guy. Um, yeah, and he's built a really incredible piece of technology. Um, yeah, so I bought my car specifically because it was compatible with with Comma. With Comma, okay. Yeah, that's interesting.